uh, whoever this is, like they have no abundance at all. There's none coming. I don't know why they keep looking for some. This person has no abundance or this is you and you're still attached to people that have nothing going on and you need to stop watching me. I don't care if you're a divine feminine or not. You need to stop watching me. For real. That is a lot on my energetic field. I don't feel like picking that up all the time. It's annoying. Don't nobody want to keep repeating the same messages over and over. Stop coming in here. You are not welcomed in here with that. I don't allow any of that in my energy. You are not welcome with that. That is so low vibing. To keep constantly dealing with people when they're of a low vibration. That's weird. What's up? Hey. It is. Thank you. No, my days, my days are always blessed and filled with bliss and joy. I'm talking about when I go live. This is y'all energy, not mine. Straight up. Let's see if we can get a more positive message here. Like, I'm, no. What the hell? <laughs> see? Regret and happiness. Fear. Again. I can't change the messages. You dig a rushy, I can only deliver them, right? And I'm not going to try to force them to be something if that's not what it is. I mean, that's just what it is. Y'all got a lot of people that are in regret because you're happy. Divine Feminine and Masculine. I just hope that you can continue to be happy. Okay? That's what I want to say. Just never let nobody dictate your movement because this this energy that this person is in oh this is somebody that is going to go above and beyond to make sure that they can take something from you or enjoy something with you period it's no way around for this person if they cannot be there with you enjoying your life your accolades your 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 shit you work hard for it they're going to ruin everything in your life or they're going to try. Meaning this energy is going to always come up until this person passes away. That is very psychotic, but that's I mean that's they feel like it's that serious whoever this is or whoever you are. And it's not flattering. Like you would think that someone would be flattered to have somebody going this damn hard, but this is psychotic. At this point, like you really need help. I don't I don't feel like you guys find this cute, attractive, like you don't find this funny whoever you are like you don't this doesn't make you want to reach out to this person it doesn't make you anything like that this really irritates you like somebody is constantly trying to break into your energy and I'm picking up on irritation irrigation could be significant as well somebody could have got their ears irrigated or some about like um cleaning your ears out Look, y'all, I had tried them little, uh, girl, them little candles from CBA. Them little earwax candles. If you know what I'm talking about, like, you gotta, you gotta, like, light the end of it and then to get all your earwax out. Girl, I feel so much better when I did one of them. So maybe somebody need to do one of them. Yes, they do, Tiana. Thank you very much, Rebecca. Thank you, babe. What else is here? Somebody is a goddamn liar. Yeah, the wax cones. Yep, that's what they call. I don't know. I don't know what they call, but that's what they look like, a cone. Empathy. Empathy. It's like you can feel. Whoever you are, bro, just understand that you are winning in such a way that, man. Somebody let name man. With two ends is what I heard. You are winning in such a way that you got people... That are really willing to take you out for it. Literally. Like people you ain't even heard from. Yep. 
And it's like you can feel it. <laughs> you can feel these folks losing. But that's not for you. Yeah, adversity. So tell me why it's my last name Swanson, okay? Erica Dean, D-E-A-N. It's my name Dino or something like that. Duncan, Dante, Deontay, I heard that. Howell, H-O-W-E-L-L. Howell Mill is significant in Atlanta, Georgia, okay? Acceptance and forgiveness. I feel like you accept someone's apology you forgive them but i feel like you're not accepting them back into your life that's what they want somebody feels like you have not forgiven them because you won't take them back what i said child <laughs> they feel like you ain't forgave them they don't know what the fuck forgiveness is love respect none of that shit they don't know what nothing morally means they have no idea about that so how the fuck would they know what forgiveness is what i said child you dig a risk you? they would never know what forgiveness truly was because they don't fucking know about nothing. They don't know shit. This person feel like you got to fuck with them in order for you to forgive them. Man, what the hell is you talking about, shawty? Man, what the hell is you talking about right here? You, bro, you ain't got to fuck with nobody to forgive them, shawty. For real. Because whoever you is, I feel like you already forgave this person. And they've shown you that you cannot fuck with them. You know what I'm saying? So it would be truly going against your healing, your own better judgment to deal with that person. Bruh, you don't understand. If you fuck with that person, you're going to lose everything. If you even think of fucking with that person, you're going to lose. That's how lose. That's how much bad karma this person got to pay or you. Somebody got to pay a lot of karma in this energy. I mean, a whole lot of bad karma. Somebody ate some Chinese food. I heard general so surface significant here somebody is a battle rapper health here guilt so is somebody ate some kind of orange chicken sesame chicken and some kind of rice you could be trying to learn how to eat with chopsticks or something or you only eat with chopsticks i don't know this is a badass vietnamese woman that i'm picking up on somebody's vietnamese in this energy fucking beautiful this is a beautiful ass woman and all her sisters is beautiful as well and she, I feel like this woman got kids. Divine Feminine, you got kids. I feel like you a mom. You are beautiful. You're the empress. You could literally be a Libra. But I'm picking up on a very beautiful, independent, strong woman. You're coming. Okay. You got some kind of advertisement for some you're selling. I don't know what the fuck this is, fam. But I fuck with you and I love you very much. Okay. So, okay. You could have lost something. You'll be all right, bro. Man, come on, bro. Come on, fam. You'll be okay. That shit ain't shit. What you lost a brand dealers, man? Whatever, bro. You gonna get some more opportunities. What else is here? Somebody named Shay or Mika or something like that. Deanna, Lily, Lillian, Jillian, Juliet is what I heard. Romeo, imagination. Your 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 creative juices are flowing. I feel like somebody has been living in a state of doubt, humor, and you're also very funny. So somebody could be a comedian or something. It's something about being very funny or just lightening up a bit, lightening your load and laughing a bit more or something like that. Somebody last name more with two O's. Yeah. And he holds the niggas oh y'all two different times. Failure. I heard the word component. Failure to complete a certain mission is what got these people in this cycle. They didn't complete a mission or something. Somebody wasn't able to complete something because you ended up restoring balance. The most I got, bro, you, man, my dad is so good. Thank you, dad. Thank you, dad. I'm going to just say that now. Thank you for whatever. I don't know. But just thank you just for being here because somebody definitely tried to send death at you. What in the hell is up with these people sending death at y'all people, bro? Like y'all folk, like these folk really want you dead. Like for real, that's not what's going to happen, bro. You're whoever you are, you're, you're not going nowhere. That's what I'm saying. Not for a long ass time. You dig a real skill. I keep saying that over and over. Y'all folk going to live to be over a hundred years old. Those are who are in the upright. Even if you're not in the upright, you're going to live a long, miserable, demonic ass life. Child. Like you're going to live for a long time. You're not going to, you're going to get your shit rocks for a long time. That's what I'm saying. So if you're in the upright or whatever the fuck, thank you for the gifts, you're going to live a long time. That's what I'm saying. So death ain't hitting nobody. So stop trying to fucking try to call somebody death or whatever this is. They're not going nowhere. This feminine or masculine, this divine being got something to do, motherfucker. They're not going no fucking where here. We. 
I, I really feel like you need to just back the fuck up for you get smacked the fuck up, okay? That's how I feel about it. What I said, fam, masculine, you better back the fuck up for you get smacked the fuck up. That was Spirit said. Yeah, y'all better take y'all ass on with this shit. Freedom here. Thank you. <laughs> Somebody is free and unencumbered. This woman right here is a model or something. I don't know what the hell this is. Divine masculine, your feminine is so goddamn sexy. This is sexy is what I heard. This woman is irresistible, but a lot of men can't touch this woman. She, you know, you know your woman, masculine. Ain't nobody touching this woman. You, this woman ain't never cheating. She, she's very family oriented. It's something about your morals here, divine feminine. And somebody do not like that shit. They really don't. Peace. And you don't gotta be Vietnamese, okay? I'm just saying a Vietnamese woman. I heard that, okay? Abundance, loneliness. I wonder, am I black? Cause y'all know motherfucker been lying to me my whole goddamn life. I don't know what the fuck. What you mix with the Holy Spirit? What I said, film masculine. When they ask, what you mix with the Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit. Cause girl, I don't motherfucking know. I do not know. <laughs> like for real. <laughs> Motherfuckers be lying and shit, shouty. <laughs> I don't know what the hell. <laughs> Guilt. <laughs> Straight up. Balance here. And yeah, doubt and blame. Yeah, somebody, somebody in this energy is just a damn loser. Like I said in the previous live stream, you had the courage to fail. Meaning, you had the courage to do shit, whether you failed or succeeded. A lot of times, y'all did not succeed all the time. People be looking at you like everything you do is just so on point. There's no way you can fuck up stuff. Well, let's fuck up too. We fuck up too. You mess up too. You got bloopers too. You dig a real skill, but somebody just feel like you're so goddamn perfect and so well put together or whatever the case is. And they're just jealous, bro. It's, it's a bunch of jealousy here. I feel like you're you you're already shifted timelines. Like somebody is way too late. Like they're they're a spell late and many, many dollars short. Or this is you. <laughs> Self-esteem. Mad ass motherfucker. You you mad. You mad. Okay. Somebody is so mad at y'all because you are so beautiful. And you're able to what? Call judgment on these people. You're able to call judgment somebody don't like the fact that you're a spiritual judge or some you always get justice like well when people did things to me i didn't get any justice or whatever the case is and all of this bull like always comparing them like it's, it's somebody always comparing themselves to you it's just weird but they can't compare that perseverance though they can't say that oh when i was this i i made it through that mud like that feminine or that masculine they can't say that shit what I said, child. Thank you for the gifts. They can't say that they made it through that fucking mud. There is no comparison. They weak as fuck. These folk won't never go through no mud because they won't make it. I'm telling you. They won't go through the mud. They gonna kick before they get through that motherfucker. I'm telling you. They will never make it. These kind of people that y'all are dealing with, they have never experienced karma. Oh, but they getting their shit raw now. Their karma, like my dad is really, these people are fragile. They're not, they don't, they don't embody strength. <laughs> like my dad would never allow these people to go through some of the towers y'all had to go through, bruh. They won't make it. That's what I'm trying to tell you, bruh. I feel like my dad been sparing these hoes and niggas long enough. For real. They'll never make it. Never. They will literally never make it out. So they feel that's why they ain't never been through shit. Y'all folk got a story and don't nobody wanna struggle. Nobody wants to have to go through certain things. But since you at it, guys, why we at it? Let's talk about it because it's definitely a testimony. Whoever you are, you have many different testimonies. Like you've been through so much stuff. People be mad at y'all because you struggled. They hate on y'all because you came from the trenches. Y'all are now millionaires and shit like that. They mad as hell at you because they didn't struggle. These people will literally try to force themselves to be in a situation. They'll create situations to struggle. I know one reading I did, I picked up on somebody that literally... They'll, they'll park their car, get on a bus, walk, or ride a bike into the 
the hood or 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 somewhere downtown where homeless people be just to sit out there and say that they've experienced being homeless like motherfucker, no homeless is an energy you can't just go and you may have had to experiment with other homeless people but you have to actually be homeless you have to be in that energy to know what it feels like you ain't homeless motherfucker in the back of your fucking mind you can still get in your car and go home you sitting outside downtown don't mean that you're homeless motherfucker what are you talking about people are sick they're psychotic somebody literally does things like that just to like if you've ever had an injury like say if you ever torn your your acl or something Motherfuckers will literally fall down the goddamn stairs just to say that they did the same thing because you did it. Something happened to you. That's what I'm saying. It's stupid shit. It's, it's like somebody in this energy is like they want to mimic everything you do. This is that copycat shit for sure. Yeah, but they're denied entry. I keep saying this. They're not getting in or you're not getting in and they're scared. Well, be scared, whatever. I mean, whatever, whatever, bro. Whatever you want to do. Your purpose here is to grow, whoever you are. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Peppermint Reads, okay? Because I literally just posted a message like this. You're supposed to be comfortable. Nobody gives a damn about nobody else and whatever they're talking about. Nobody gives a fuck. We done already been through too much, fam masculine. We're in the energy where dad said, whatever. We gonna have whatever, and that's what we're gonna have. And it's period. And I don't feel bad. What about y'all? I don't give a fuck what nobody let. That ain't got shit to do with me. At all. Because leave it up to you. You'll make sure I don't have some just so you can have it. So bitch, fuck you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Don't nobody give a fuck. Nobody really gives a damn, bro. And it's not you being a bad person. It's you being logical. It's you being an empath. It's you having discernment. Because some people will use some situations to play on your empathy. They'll use things against you. What I said. And somebody's definitely worried because you changed something up. Gosh. Somebody in this energy is so goddamn desperate for energy. Like, they're just completely losing here. But they have to surrender? Or this is you? Uh-oh. Better get make off. Somebody is seeing chips and scratches all on their vehicle. Yeah, because somebody is scratching up your vehicle. It's like somebody can't stand to see you have anything. I'm picking up on somebody playing around somebody's house. I've been picking that energy up a lot recently, but it's all because you're growing. That's all. Somebody somebody really is just worried. They're worried and stressed out because they like them. So they're moving towards another person or someone is moving towards you. So uh, they don't they don't want to see you with this uh, divine masculine or this feminine. That's what that is. This person trying to come your way and get you in the bed or something. Or they could have done this in the past and they were not able to attach something to you. <laughs> this person right here got HIV. They living with that shit for the rest of their fucking life. You can't goddamn put no ads on credit list for that, baby. You gonna live with that for the rest of your life, baby. Don't nobody want a roommate with you. Straight up, Karen connections in the goddamn reverse. So you could be looking for a roommate on Craigslist or something. Somebody Craigslist is significant. Look at this energy of envy always coming up because you walked away from somebody all the fucking time. It's weird. I keep hearing Penelope. I heard stationary. So somebody is buying material. Um, it. I want to say arts and crafts. Like a project that you're working on. This could be you. This could be one of your kids. I don't know. But I'm picking up like glitter and um, glue. And stuff like that. So yeah, you could be working on a project or something. That's what I'm picking up. So this could be, you could be selling whatever this is. I don't know. Thank you for the rolls. You could be. I don't know. You may be selling something here. You make candles? Okay, well, whatever this is, it's for sale. But I'm seeing like glitter. I'm seeing something glittery. What else is here? Thank you for the roses. Yeah, I'm, I'm picking up on something like that. Very heavy. Thank you for the gifts and things, guys. Thank you. Thank you so very much. 
Thank you. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, user 7801990. Oh, I couldn't get see all of Thank you. Yeah, you're walking away. Or you could have walked away from the whole community. Or this community that you walked away from, they're in regret from all this gang stalking, all tied up. Yeah, somebody, they're not getting through. I'm just telling you, it's over. <laughs> Man, somebody so goddamn desperate in this fucking energy, shouting. Somebody in this energy is so damn desperate to get in your business. And, like, they want to attach to you so bad, like, because they know it's over for them. It's every day. And it's like, they are so fucking irritating. Whoever this person is or whoever you are, I don't know. I don't know. They're not getting in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <Nanana> boo -boo. <laughs> you can't catch me. <laughs> Patience, see, this person broke your fuck. Bro, y'all got a lot of broke ass exes on your radar, shout out. Bro, these folks broke as fuck, shouty. And it's not even all money. These niggas so broke that they getting hostile. These folks so broke they can start a riot. They so broke they can literally start a fight. Kind of energy. Thank you for the gift, Candice. Man, that ain't got nothing to do with y'all folks. That's what I'm saying. The only reason why these folks be trying to come around y'all is because they feel like they can benefit from me. You ain't got not shit for their ass. Nothing. What else is here? They literally getting hostile like these folks want to fight. I told y'all that. Like, how somebody want to fight you and you ain't even heard from them? Man, what? <laughs> Y'all got family members and shit that want to fight y'all and shit. They so mad because it's like every day they get bad news. Oh, trust me. Oh, shit. Thank you for the alley spirit. Yeah, and yang. Cornucopia in action in the reverse. Man, when I tell you these folks losing so goddamn bad, they don't got shit going on. That's what I'm saying. It's just a bunch of nothing going on. It's a bunch of nothing, bro. Damn. It is nothing good coming for these folks or you. Straight up. I'm trying to tell you what the truth of the is. There's a strategy. So somebody could be um also thinking of a strategy to do something different. So, so oh shit. Somebody got a vending machine? Or you thinking about getting a vending machine or something? But I'm not seeing snacks. I'm seeing something else in this vending machine. Very cool. You're gonna make a lot of money. Archangel Raph is here. So, you're, bro, whoever you are, you're protected. Like, you are so protected. You're free to move forward. You're free to do what you want. I heard judo chop. <laughs> Somebody definitely know martial arts in this motherfucker. So, you might literally end up getting into a fight. Or you may have a fight coming up soon. Somebody could be a boxer or something. Somebody has a fight coming up soon. Or there's a fight. You may be right there with a fight. You, you might be right there when the fight break out or so. Look at this damn person. They broke your shit. Financial constraints. And then I told you, this person don't got no love for nobody. And you're healing. Okay. I feel like you're a glow up, grow up. You're going to go on vacation or something. Or you're already on this vacation. I don't know. I feel like you're meeting new people. It's several different men. It's several different women or something. You got like several different people to choose from. And they're all good choices. That's what I'm saying. Don't don't let fear of uh thank you for the gifts. Don't don't let fear of what happened in your past trickle is what the fuck I heard. Trickle over into now. Okay here. Like don't don't allow that like remain in this angel of love energy. Because this other angels of love here. You dig a root skill? Um don't let past experiences with anything or anybody dictate how you move forward. Okay, here. It's somebody just like you and your energy. It's a good person. I feel like it's a good man. It's a good woman. I feel like they're trustworthy. You're trustworthy. You don't have to rush anything. 
But I do want to say, don't treat this person how you should have treated your ex. You dig a rooshku? Use discernment. That's what I'm saying. Because that's what that's what people wanted. They wanted to break you down to where you trusted nobody. You didn't look forward to good shit regarding other people. You were just always in this state of, okay, well, I'm going to just do it by myself. I'm going to be alone or whatever the case is. And that's totally fine as well. But whoever you are, you're supposed to be with someone, okay? Or you're already with this person. And, like, if you just start arguing or whatever out the blue, just don't worry. Somebody's doing work on you, bro. Somebody's constantly doing work on y'all, folks. Constantly. This is every single day. Because they can't they can't catch up. Thank you for the gifts and roses and things. What else is here? What else is here? I feel like you're in a whole nother... Somebody named Naya or Nisha or something like that. Janisha. Heal of the ages. Look at this deceit. So somebody's trying to be deceiving to this damn earth angel. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I really wouldn't. I would really think twice about that. The thinking man. You really need to think twice coming for this person. Truly. You really do. I mean physically, spiritually, whatever the fuck you're trying to do. I really feel like you need to be very, very cautious. You're not ready for what the fuck is going to happen to you. You broke your fuck and you mad. Take that shit up with the man in the mirror. You dig a rooshku? And crack that motherfucker because you already bad luck. What else is here? Storm warning. I'm not going to say that again. You better take your ass on with that bullshit. You're the one in anxiety. You're not going to touch this person. I promise you that. I don't know what's up with y'all motherfuckers trying to bring hostile shit to this person. But this ain't the person to fuck with. Whoever this feminine or this masculine is, sweetheart. I wouldn't do it. They putting hands and feet on your ass like Twister. Just leave it alone. You're broke as hell. This is what it's really about. You're broke. You don't have no money. Okay? You're broke. It's fuck. Rest and rejuvenation here. And like I said, envy. Uh -huh. Our angel Chamuel. And there's a broken heart. Like I felt. Somebody's mad. Ain't nothing in alignment with somebody. Be very, very cautious of arguments at this time. These folk mad. I'm telling you. These folks so mad. They're arguing, fight with any goddamn body. How the hell is it my fault that your card declined? What I said. How the fuck is it my fault? Divine Feminine and Masculine, they got favor with the Lord to where if they did not have a certain amount in their account, they, they, they payment still gonna go through. What I said did not help a certain amount in their account they 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 payment still gonna go through what i said because they got what overdraft protection yo yo bad luck motherfucking that's the whole transaction is declined you're not this person they have certain favor they can do certain shit you cannot okay that's just what it is this person is blessed in favor you're not what else is here what's up y'all daughter romance divine feminine Girl, I don't know who the fuck that man is, thing is that you been talking to. Mm. Girl, I don't know. Masculine, who this woman is? Who is this woman, honey? I don't know who this is, but I feel like this is a good fit for you. I don't I don't really see any going that far, though. Yeah, broken heart reverse. Because, like, you're going to end up choosing somebody else. Excuse me. Like, you're going to end up, you're going to end up, like, it seems like you fuck with this person, but it's like you're going to end up choosing someone else. But they're all, they're all good choices. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Like, somebody else may have something more intriguing or, um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what it could be. I don't know. I don't know what it could be about this other person that you're choosing over someone else. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> like I really don't. But uh, because like I'm trying to use like an analogy, but I can't because it's like I don't know. It's like you got women here, fam. You got men here, right? Like one of them may not have a car and one of them do, or something like that. It's like something very, very minuscule. That's like a difference. But this person, like they may not have a car because they literally don't have a license or something but they can bring more for like well why don't you got your license kind of energy you know what i'm saying it's like something it's something that distinguishes these people it's like yeah i'd rather be with this person because yeah why you ain't got no license 
Like, you want child support? I thought you said you weren't married. Like, what? So, it could be other things that you're finding out about somebody. So, you, you, okay, so you could be finding out other stuff about someone then, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Angel of love in the reverse. I don't know, Divine Feminine, you so picky. But see, you should be, though, because you're a good person. Masculine side for you. You dig a real skill? Thank you for the gifts and roses, guys. And you should. You should be able to pick and choose. But it's something, like, very, very... It's like a slight difference between two people, okay? And it could be several different people. I don't know. But it's like you're choosing one person over all the others. Somebody is going to be so heartbroken, fam. Masculine. Somebody is going to be so... They're going to be so anxious. They're going to be like, well, where, where did they go? Like, well, what did I do? <laughs> kind of energy. But it's like because you're not a cheater. So it's like if you, if you do want to just be with a person, you're going to cut everybody off. Like, you don't have to... Your person don't got to tell you to cut people off. If it ain't about business and shit, like, you know how to move basically oh this person so sad they're so sad they're like well what did i what, why they not texting me back like why they not calling me back what happened like i thought we had a good first date or something like that yeah somebody is really heartbroken but i feel like that's what comes with the territory also too Somebody is um, gonna be on like one of them little reality shows, like where it's like 20 motherfuckers in a house or some shit. I don't know. But somebody is heartbroken. Oh. What else is here? Because it's something, it's something so small to where you didn't pick this person. And I don't, I don't feel, I feel like you just, ha if you just had to, you dig a risk, like you had to just make a list and check everything off. Like, oh, well, they don't have this and they do. So yeah, okay, I'm gonna go to this person kind of energy. What else is here? But it's all about you. Whatever makes you happy. What I said. <laughs> Fuck that. Somebody getting a brand new car. Somebody needs an oil change. What else is here? Divine Feminine, you are a beautiful person. Masculine, you are so fucking handsome. And it's like spiritually, okay? Expectation. Pathway in the reverse, soil and labor. Yeah, somebody is expecting for something not to work. I can't make it. Occupation reverse. I just can't make it up. It's it's something about being lighthearted, okay? Gift in the reverse and house in the reverse. It's something here about being lighthearted. But heavyweight, okay? You're undisputed. You're the champ, whoever you are. Somebody wearing all champion. Somebody got on a champion outfit or something, like the hat, the shirt, the sweats, socks. This look like some crispy white Air Force Ones right here. Or some kind of shoes. I don't know, but they're crispy as hell. This masculine can dress. Whoever I'm reading, this person can really dress. So, masculine, you could be going shopping this week or just go buy yourself some stuff. Film same for you. Make sure you're always doing for you first. Do for yourself first, and then everybody else comes after. What I said, 9-11 on the fucking clock and high honor. Great fortune reverse, occupation reverse, and then high honor here. Hmm. I just don't understand how somebody just keeps trying to fucking take over y'all energy. I just do not. I don't get it. Like, this is clearly over. Somebody been trying to hold you hostage in the spirit, bro. Somebody been trying to hold somebody in this energy hostage, like, but they've been doing it in the background, but you've escaped. Imprisonment in the reverse. You're not meant to be locked up. 
It's like if this person could put you in a room and lock you in there, they would. And the way that technology is, I mean, shit, even back in the day, they had cameras and shit, didn't they? What I said, child. This person right here will literally put a camera in the room and watch you all day long. So it seemed like this person got a wife and kids or a husband and kids, but they want you somewhere to where they can watch you all the time. This is weird. That is not what's going to happen. Somebody named Tiny. T-I-N-Y. This person right here is going to have to work very hard for nothing. I'm getting prison energy. They're about to be slaving for no nothing at all. No, no, like this person owes so much. They're not going to get paid anything. Yeah, community. You're leading a community of people, whether you know this or not. It's like a community of people that actually do love you and look up to you, okay, here. Someone may have been trying to strip that from you. It's your birthright. Like, you're, somebody is trying to strip your birthright away from you. Like, literally wanting to take your birthright. Like, they don't want you to have anything. Because they're in their birth chart, this person is supposed to be losing. They were literally born to come here to lose. To be a fucking loser, literally. They've been trying to swap energy with you. They don't need for losing. They were literally, like, this person's past life. If ever they were to reincarnate, they already knew that they were going to come back to pay karma. I don't even see why this person is even wondering why life is like it is for them anyway. They're a horrible fucking person. <laughs> they ain't never did nothing good for nobody, not themselves. They're a fucking narc. Like, it's so much things I can say about this person. But it doesn't matter. That's their energy. They're going to always be like that. So they've been trying to cause significant events to happen in your life to ultimately get you to be like that or something. Not happening. They're unofficial as fuck hell. We? I don't feel like you're thinking about this person. This motherfucker don't belong with this woman. Look at this raggedy motherfucker. With the privileged lady? I doubt it. You're too high ranking. This person don't got no right anywhere near you. That's what I'm saying. This person can't take your trash out. This man can't be anywhere near you. That's what I'm saying. Why in the fuck? This, this person really got some nerve. This person really got some kind of fucking nerve. They, they don't belong anywhere near you at all. That's what I'm saying. This is weird. <laughs> I heard the word upgrade. So, they feel like You acting indifferent or something. <laughs> Somebody feel like you acting indifferent right here, my son. Phil. I feel like you acting indifferent too. Fuck you mean. When you get these divine upgrades, you got to move different. Yeah, we is acting indifferent, motherfucker. We ain't hanging out in the same places. You right, we acting different. Fuck you mean. We are brand new. The Holy Spirit did make us new. What you mean, motherfucker? Yeah. <laughs> what is you talking about? We are. We are indeed brand new. You don't know what that feel like. Y'all folks ain't never going to get on that level. We is acting brand new. You are in, You are absolutely correct. Because motherfucker can't go nowhere until they change their attitude. To hoes and niggas like you. Who like to keep motherfuckers at the bottom. Yo. We are acting brand new. What is you talking about, shawty? What is you talking about? You can't keep the same goddamn... You can't keep the same people around you when you're moving to a different place. You can't... You damn sure can't keep the same attitude, bro. These folk feel like y'all have completely shut everything and everyone off. And yeah, I feel like you did too. It was required. 
<laughs> I feel like you at them brand new too. Fuck you mean. I feel like that was a part of your ascension. Was to change the way that you view people, places, and things. Period. You the same person. You can't act brand new. And still be yourself. These motherfucking narcissists were acting like they loved you. But they were still being themselves, which are narcissists. I'm still going to be me. But yeah, I am acting different. Bitch, because I am different. What are you talking about? Shit is different. Weirdo. <laughs> Main female, bad no bad panties. This person ain't getting their hands on your city. Well, that's what they not going to do. What the hell is this shit? Somebody really mad because they can't get their hands on your treasure. Message of concern in the reverse. Somebody definitely ate some cornbread today. You want your cornbread? <laughs> yeah, I want my cornbread, motherfucker. I do want my cornbread, Shawty. <laughs> yes, I do want my cornbread. journey so this is somebody who feel like they could just come in and out of your life whenever the fuck they feel like it no that's not what is gonna happen so divine family let me, let me say this too masculine sign for y'all right y'all folk had no idea y'all were this divine you didn't know who you was back then bro so y'all folk didn't have no problem pulling up to the hood y'all didn't have no problem hanging with them folks smoking with them folks drinking with them folks y'all didn't have no problem with that you didn't know how valuable you were you didn't know how many people truly had a target on your back, shouted. So now that you know, you do move different. It's only right. It's only right that you move different, actually. You should. You should move different. If you didn't move different, I would be side eyeing you. <laughs> like if you if you claim to be elevated and you still hanging with the same people doing the same shit, the same exact way. Because a lot of y'all doing the same thing. You just doing it different. You done upgrade. You done took that shit up a notch. Or two or three or four. You dig a root skill? You done turned that shit up. You might be doing the same shit. But oh, you done took. You upgraded some shit now. Because that's just what you do, right? A lot of y'all, y'all done changed careers. But whatever the case is, you doing that shit in a major way. Y'all folks is a big deal. I keep saying this. I would be looking at you side eye like, yeah, you really ain't really doing a lot, are you? Like, you ain't really who you thought you were. You you cannot possibly, you bro, you cannot possibly be living in your calling and you still doing the same shit you was doing. That's just not possible. You need to do some more work. You're not where you think you are or something like that. Somebody in this energy is not, they don't, they don't get it or something. I feel like you are acting brand new. Yeah. You could have just bought a brand new house or something too. Like I said, somebody somebody in this energy wants you to just sit around the house and be their um, entertainment or something. Or they just want to. It's like they want reassurance. Like somebody wants reassurance. Like they want to know that you're not going anywhere. They would literally lock you away if they could. Literally. What's up? Despair. This person is sad every goddamn day. Like, you have so many new opportunities coming. It's crazy. Y'all, like I felt, you're not going nowhere, bro. Y'all fuck be old, gray, and wrinkled. Before you go any motherfucking where. And you won't be. That's what I'm saying. You won't, bro. Whoever you are, even when you 80, 90 years old, you still gonna be looking good, smelling great. Whatever the case is. Organs and shit still functioning properly and everything. You're going to be healthy, happy, and abundant your whole entire fucking life and i keep saying this this level of comfort that uh most divine beings have gotten an upgrade to this comfort is what i heard c-o-m-f-o-r-t comfort to be comfortable no matter what you doing you're comfortable period i don't give a fuck if you in a one bedroom apartment you're comfortable period and ain't nobody gonna do nothing about that that's what i'm saying my dad ain't finna let nobody come through and disrupt your peace. Like, wherever you are, you are at peace. But see, there's a major, major upgrade. Somebody is about to receive an inheritance or something. I feel like you're very appreciative wherever you are. This is why you deserve this life. 
God is about to give you so much uh, like you didn't even ask for this. When I tell you, you be asking God for little stuff. Dad, can I have some money to go shopping? Well, I need this bill paid, Dad. My car no do. Kind of energy. Baby need this. Y'all be asking my dad for little shit. Oh, but what he about to give you, sweetheart. I can't even, I can't even explain it. It's your birthright, though. Somebody knows that you have unlocked your birthright. We. Somebody last night could literally be right or white, Washington. Okay. I heard hot bridge the label. Okay. What's here? Somebody in this bitch know a lot of celebrities. What's here? So, yeah, you about to get married. Whoever you is, I feel like early next year or like in the middle of next year. Like March, like from March on down or something like that. Somebody's getting married. You could literally already have a date set. A year. You could already have a date set or something. But I feel like you about to get married. And see, for a lot of y'all, you don't even know you, you about to meet someone and y'all gonna literally get married or something, for sure. And it's like real love. Yeah, this person in despair. Somebody's in despair. They can't steal something from you. This stink, bitch. God, this whole stink. This bitch right here stink so bad. When I tell you, oh my God, this, this woman refuses to get in the tub. Girl, you hear this? Water, girl. Water. Some soap. You don't need these soap. Just start with the water. Girl, just turn on the water. Don't be scared. Come on. Come on. I'm going to lead you to the water. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. See? Just touch it. It ain't that bad. Touch, touch the water. Touch the water. That wasn't so bad, was it? It wasn't that bad. Don't run. Come on, girl. Come on, now. I bet you won't put some salt with it. Now we got to go up a level. You ready for the salt now? Face ass. Man, take your ass on, bro. Like I felt. False is fucking fake as hell. Low honor. This is crazy how these cars were back to back like this. Thank you very much for the gifts and things. This is the shit I be talking about right here, fam. Masculine for sure. Wealthy man. So this masculine energy gonna send you a message, divine feminine. Eddie, you ain't here. Eduardo. Eddie. Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Thank you for my gifts. Eduardo. Edward in here. Eddie is in this motherfucker. Eddie is in this motherfucker. He does not know Murphy motherfucker. Yeah. Thank y'all so very much for the gifts and things. Eddie. Where you at, Eddie? Sudden wealth in the reverse. Yeah, somebody is concerned about them because they're not getting this shit. You're not getting this, shawty. You ain't getting this shit, bro. <laughs> Bro, you losing, shawty. Somebody in there. God, this person. Gosh. Like, bro. What's up? What in the fuck, shawty? God, this person lose. When I the divine feminine. And, and see, my thing is. Like, this, this person is so mind blown. Because they like. Man, ain't no fucking way. I could have been with that person. Like, it is no way that they grew up to be this. Or when they left me, they still became great. Even though I was narcissistic, I tried to beat them to death and talk them to death and spiritually fucking fuck them up to death. And I did all of this bullshit. And you mean to tell me this is who they came out to be? Exactly. That's exactly what I'm saying, actually. 
somebody is looking at you like, ain't no fucking way. That's the person I tried to destroy. There is no way. That's the person. I used to be with that person. I used to be with them every day. I used to talk to them. I used to hug them. I used to kiss them. I used to be with them all the time. And now they cut the fuck off. That's what I'm saying. But it was by their own doing. This person right here did nothing but show that they were disloyal. That's what I'm saying. Hoes and niggas ain't loyal. They don't deserve to be where you are. So now they trying to make sure that they end everything in your life. But they cannot. They can't bring any deaths to anything you're doing. Because the most high God has already spoken life. He's already put everything in motion to where it's going to work. It ain't got no choice but to work. That's what I'm saying. Okay. Whoever you are. Somebody in this energy don't understand. They don't believe water wet. Yeah. Four of cups. Ooh wee. Child. What else is here? <laughs> so what you saying, ho? You know I'm the man, ho. I heard this song in a minute by K-Count. Shout out K-Count. And I ain't nothing to cut that shelf. Okay. <laughs> what he said, she'll bust it down for some down lima readers. <laughs> he said that bitch will bust it down for some lima readers. The hermit in the reverse. Somebody is refusing to go within. Virgo energy. So what you saying? Oh, you know on the man. Oh, look at the air fry. Hold up, Vasquez. Hold up, Vasquez. What's up, Vasquez? Aries energy. Hmm. You you're lighting the way for your 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 whole entire spiritual team is so proud of you. I don't care what you're doing in life. Whatever this is, bro, it's divinely orchestrated that way. Like, bro, you got a lot of protection around you and all of your goddamn I'm seeing a whole group of them. like, bro, you are so protected and they're all very proud of you whoever you are. Keep going. Ace of coins in the reverse. Somebody don't want you to have some. Somebody's doing some in your dream state. They want to block off your tree of life. Like, but it's already a part of your destiny. It's not gonna work like that. So what you saying, ho? You know I'm the man, ho. It ain't in there, cut that dick off. <laughs> Straight up. Walk away with the eight of cups. As I said, that eight of cups gonna pop out. Thank you, Montana. Look at the damn empress. <laughs> I ain't even noticed it. Okay, is that your business that far? What your broke ass? You gonna buy it for me? You gonna buy it? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, is that your business that far? What your broke ass? <laughs> okay. Is that your business, Eva? With your broke ass. You gonna buy it for me? You gonna buy it? I don't think so. <laughs> Is that your business, Eva? reverse with the face of sword. Bro, this person always stalking your ass right here, film. And to be honest with y'all, I have to make this shit into comedy. Because this person is really depressed. Like, they don't have anything to laugh about, whatever. They just always sad. And you're just not. <laughs> Ain't nobody around this bitch sad. <laughs> y'all motherfuckers sad. Motherfuckers really is depressed. Like, nah, dead serious. 
Like the way y'all folks showing up to the world, these folks can never hold that energy. The will is in your favor. Is that your business at five? <laughs> With your broke ass. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles reverse. Somebody is heavily burdened. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Thank you. I caught it late. Thank you, though. <laughs> Somebody's so goddamn mad at you. It's my name, Jason. Woo. Queen of Wands in reverse. Divine Feminine. So you got, you got, it's a woman. Bad nose, bad panties. Okay, here. What I see, child. Thank you for my crane. It's my late night crane. But it's a Leo Aries Sagittarius in your energy. Sis is so jealous of you. This bitch, Master was saying for you. This man is so jealous. They feel like they're not as beautiful as you. They're not as confident as you. All that bullshit for a whole bunch of shit that ain't got nothing to do with you. Basically. Okay. This person feels like. They just gotta win something. I gotta get them. I gotta. I gotta. Kind of energy. This person can literally talk just like this. This person, everything about this person is fucking irritating as fuck. This bitch don't know what the fuck she's talking about. Everything she do, she's trying to compare the shit to fucking you. I don't know what the fuck this is. Nobody want to hear a bitch talking like this. I could never do a live stream. Y'all yeah, would think I was an AI robot or some shit in this bitch. This bitch talks like this. Nobody wants to fucking hear this. You cannot do this with ASMR. There's no ASMR. You cannot go to sleep with this bitch's voice. She wants to do everything you do. I don't know. This bitch smokes two packs of cigarettes a day or something. I don't know what the fuck. But this bitch's voice is irritating as fuck. And then she got the nerve to try to come and come for you. This is the bitch that talks just like this. And I don't know why the fuck she's trying to compete with you. But she feels like you're too beautiful. Like there's no room for the both of you. And this bitch is doing too much. Yeah. One of them hoes. While you're over here in Queen of Pentacles. King of Pentacles energy. You dig a real skin. That's what I'm saying. This person is bullshit. Bro, y'all got so many people that hate on y'all just for dumb shit. Like... It, the fuck? Somebody don't like your voice. Like, they don't like your voice. Whoever you is, shawty, you be working this shit. These fuck be stealing this shit. Like, what the? Eight of Pentacles. Virgo Energy with the Queen of Pentacles and the Eight of Pentacles, you're literally working. They want to be just like you, but they're not for sure. You're not their person. Page of Cups. He look like me today. Yeah, that's exactly how you need to look at it. Like, what? Like, what are you talking about? Hey, Swords, that's true. God damn. <laughs> this person right here don't know what the hell to do. They're being left out. But see, whoever you will, the Selma Pentacles and the reverse, and you got the four ones in the reverse. This person is not a twin flame. So, excuse me. The most I got done made it to where your whole entire way is clear. Bro, y'all folk can get up every single day and do whatever you want to do. Period. And your defense is up. The seven of wands. Somebody is immediately blocked. This sage is blocked. Somebody in this energy is blocked as hell. Okay? They're definitely blocked. So what you saying, ho? You know I'm the man, ho? It ain't nothing I cut that bitch off. Thank you for the roses. Thank you. What else is here? How long have I been alive? Seven of Swords reverse. They're caught. Somebody ate some damn. Oh my God. What is this? Some macaroni and cheese? Some chicken?
Nah, fam. What the fuck you done cooked? Hold up. Now, nah. I'm saying macaroni and cheese and chicken, but it's like a casserole or something. Hold up, bitch. Because where's my plate? See, masculine. Not, see, that's what I'm talking about. Y'all always want some motherfucking readings. But y'all motherfuckers can't. How the fuck you gonna ten of swords me? Oh, hell no. Nah. Man, that's a ten of swords. Keeping this dish away from me? Oh, that's a ten of swords, motherfucker. You just performed a ten of swords on your reader, bruh? Really? How the... Y'all folks ain't shit, bro. Temper's in the reverse. Sag energy. Yeah, these folks block fam masculine. I don't know what this is. Somebody Sagittarius. You're blocking this part. You could be a Sag or this person could be. I don't know. But you block the hip. Somebody ass is. They're blocked. They're done. You don't want nothing to do with them. You don't want anything to do with them at all. And it's crazy. You gonna make me fun. Uh-huh. Yeah. I had the ass though. I ain't supposed to have the ass. Two of wands in the reverse. <laughs> you put a plate to the side. Thank you, boo. See, that's what I'm saying. Thank you. At least think of me. Gosh. Uh, you know, I ain't like that, boo. Y'all yeah. know I'm just now learning how to cook me some stuff. I ain't perfected everything yet. That's why I ain't handed out no plate shit. But, boo. When I perfect these uh, dishes, child. <laughs> what else is here? <laughs> Whoa. Oh, yeah, you the wounded warrior. You're sitting over here in the nine of ones. You're ready. You're ready for whatever. Just moving on up, basically. Shikari. I love you. Shakari about to do something else great. Richardson, okay? She's about to do another great thing. She's going to do many, many great things, okay? Somebody's in the tower. Somebody do not see something coming here. I feel like somebody, they best bet. Truly, to be honest with you, fair masculine. These hoes and nigga, they best bet is to just leave you the fuck alone completely. They just need to start watching, expecting, whatever the case is. If these people cannot handle being in a depressive state all the fucking time because of your victory, they need to stop watching you completely because that's all they're going to get is depression, lack, sorrow, because you're going to keep going where? Up, up, up. And it's not going to stop no time soon. It's like you're going to keep outdoing yourself, keep outdoing yourself, keep outdoing yourself. It's like every time it's better than the last time and they said that was your best time. What I said, child? You just heard what I said. Every time is your best time. But they said the last time, that was your best time. That last shit I, I just did was you said that was the best shit. Now you saying it better than that last shit that you said that was the best. So what you doing now, this is better than that shit you just did. But the shit you about to do, that shit better than what you doing right now. And they said this is the best. What I said. It's like you don't miss. You literally don't miss at all. You cannot miss. That's what I'm saying, bro. You are so fucking creative. Somebody might need to, like, listen to these meditation things I listen to. Like, with water and waterfalls, things like that. Like, nature, birds, whatever the case is. This is going to help you get those gears moving. Okay? Period. That's what I'm trying to tell you right here, fam. That's one. Yeah. I'm here and take it to the head. <laughs> I should heard that shit loud as fuck. Oh, something to someone else. What's for no, no, no. Oh, no, no, no. What's for no, no. Oh, my God. Somebody's mad because you're not mad. Wow. 
Well, I'm happy that you're not mad, fam masculine. I'm glad that y'all folks have found peace and that you can literally laugh. But y'all folks done been through a lot of shit. And you know what's so funny? Because the shit that y'all folks been through, bro, you should be a mad motherfucker. What I said, Ace Cups. You should be. Bro, y'all should be one of the most mad motherfuckers walking around here. All of the things that you had to endure, if it was about that, you dig a real skill. You got a right to be mad if you were, but you're not. That's what I'm saying, and that's the funny part about it. Night of Cups with the lovers. This Cancer is a loser. Somebody in this energy just losing. It's a Leo, a Cancer. I seen the Sun card, the Chariot reverse. I just can't move. I told you this fucking Leo is weak. I have not really ever picked up on a weak ass Leo until I've been picking up on these folks that y'all they won't leave y'all the fuck alone and shit. These Leos, Leos embody strength. So you could have Leo in your chart. But this person right here might got more water or something in their chart. Because they definitely bitch made. This is a man. This is a Leo, a man, but he is so weak. Like, this person is losing. He's a loser. Or this is you. Okay. Anything else in this deck? Anything else? Yeah. The Four of Pentacles. So I feel like your savings account is growing. It's something about you saving money. I'm seeing somebody that do like them little stuffing videos. We could be seeing a lot of these. Those cash stuffing videos. You could be seeing a lot of those at this time. It's something about your savings account. It's growing. It's multiplying. Yep. Somebody wanted you to deplete your savings account or something. I feel like your savings account is balanced, fully restored or something. Or if you lost money or something, spirit about to put it right back. If you lost money from somebody being um, deceiving, if somebody in like a seven of swords energy towards you, if you lost any amount of money, spirit is about to give it back to you 50 times over is what I'm saying. 50 fold. Somebody, I heard Peabody. Where the fuck is this card? The Nine of Cups. Wow. Wish fulfillment. Total wish fulfillment. You're living in bliss while somebody is living in chaos. I feel like that's their fault, not yours. I also feel like you have literally learned to just stop giving a fuck about what other people are going through because you've noticed that every time you gave a fuck, you end up losing something. What I said, child, or you're going to notice that you're going to notice that when you give a damn and when you try to insert and help other people, you're going to see very quickly that you should not have done that. Like you're going to start losing shit. And it ain't worth it. Because they not some out of sin. If they need your help. They did some fucked up shit to you. Like they did something to you. Or they did something to be in that energy of karma. Please. And you just cannot stop somebody else's karma. You have to let these folks get their shit. If you try to jump in front of somebody else getting karma. You going to start getting your shit too. What I said child. You going to get your shit for no reason. It's like. The five of ones and the four of swords is here. This is somebody who is going to have conflict even in their sleep. This person right here may not even want to go to bed because they don't want to wake up to fuck shit. That's, that's all that this person knows, though. Somebody only knows losing, and that's it. They don't have no context. They just know losing. This person might be antisocial, but they know losing. I promise you that. They might not have a friend in the world, but they know losing. Straight up. What else? Other than that, I feel like y'all energy is so beautiful, bro. It's just it's just so very beautiful. Yeah, the Knight of Cups. Somebody could be coming to apologize to you because you have some kind of victory here. And they lost. Like, somebody lost. They were never an opponent. They were opposition. 
They 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 were never truly an opponent of yours. They were just an op. That's it. They were opposition. This was this this was people that was just in your way to uh you know cause barriers or whatever the fuck like whatever whatever. Let me get y'all one more card. How long have I been live? Don't let pride get in your way. Like I feel it's a Leo. It's a Leo here for sure. Okay, can y'all see that Leo? What else is here? I mean, you could be a Leo. This person could be. It truly ain't got really shit to do with the astrology signs. It's really the energy. You dig a Like, you know your energy. Like, you don't got to be a Leo at all. You may not have Leo anywhere in your chart. But you might be resonating with this entire message. I mean, the person that you're dealing with, they may have placements that you don't know about. Or it just simply could resonate. It don't got to necessarily be, you know, that that's what the zodiac sign is. That's just for future reference. But if y'all watching tarot, you should know that. Okay? Take the messages how they resonate. You dig a real? What else is here? Anything else here, Dad? Thank you very much. It's time to take action and then a time for healing here. Balsamic dress that could be significant. It's something about a new moon. Oh shit. It's something here about new moon in Aries or something. Somebody could have taken some kind of action in Aries season around a new moon or something. Yeah, balsamic dressing. Ain't that like vinaigrette or something? It's like vinaigrette, right? Okay. I don't think I ever had balsamic. Did you? Oh, okay. Balsamic. Like, does that go good on salad? I don't... Oh, now, now that I'm thinking about it, y'all. Good, now I want me a motherfucking salad, bitch. With some motherfucking catfish, bitch. A little catfish nuggets with my family with some eggs, some shredded cheese, bitch, some cucumbers, tomatoes, banana peppers, bitch. With some thousand I thousand island dressing. Oh, you got to put thousand island on that salad. When it's a fish salad, you got to, got to, got to use thousand island. Period. That's what I'm trying to tell you right here. Now I want a salad. <laughs> I ain't never had no Wendy salad. Zaxby's? Now Zaxby's got a fire ass fucking salad. That, that called salad. House salad. Whatever it's called. Sha. Yes. Catfish. Yeah. You got to take all the bones out. Fried catfish too. Well I guess you could bake it. I don't know. I've never had it without... I've never had baked fish in a salad, but girl, that Thousand Island. 
Yes. Oh my God, Zaxby's. They sell it is. Yes. Thank you very much. But I'm about to end this reading. Remember that got illusion, so do I, you guys. I'll see y'all in the next reading. Y'all have a great night. Bye.